when do you feel like therapy has begun to enter into that last stage and we're within sight of termination and what's the role of relapse prevention in this last right. stage? So we're actually doing relapse prevention from the very first session as we are teaching, as we're not only using techniques with clients, but we're teaching them how to use it on themselves. So we really do start it in the first session, but we put more of an emphasis it, um, toward the end of treatment. So Mary is now feeling better. Um, one of the things that we want to do is to have Mary uh, write a list of how of the of um, how she will know if she's starting to get depressed again. What are some of the early warning signs of depression for her? Mm -hmm. And then we also want to have a plan in writing of what she needs to do if she starts experiencing mm -hmm. these symptoms again. Mm -hmm. And one of the um, items. Uh, on her plan might be to call the therapist. And what I tell clients is, if you're not sure if you need to come back to treatment or not, um, how would you feel about just calling me and we can make the decision together? It might be that on the phone, you know, just talking for 10 minutes, I might remind you of some things you might not need to come back to treatment. On the other hand, it might become pretty obvious that you need to come back for one or two or, or maybe even more sessions. Mm. But I would like to spare you the possibility of kind of hitting rock, but, rock bottom, bottom and suffering so much. Yeah. Um, so if, if you're not sure if you need to come back, well, would, would it be all right if you just give me, gave me a call and we can decide mm -hmm. together? Yeah. And really, in the, um, this last part of treatment, we are also looking at what problems does Mary expect could come up in the next few weeks and months of treatment uh, and um, have her already start thinking about how she's going to address those problems and what techniques she has already learned that she might be able to use.